Hi, my name is Juan. I'm a coach based in Singapore. Today, I'm going to share with you what is Agile with you as a member of International Coaching Federation or member of International Association of Facilitator. First, I will talk about what is Agile, capital A Agile and lower A Agile, why Agile, and embracing agility, challenging in embracing Agile, what could you contribute as a professional coaches or facilitator, and what could we do next? First. I'm going to share a bit about myself. I'm ICF Associated Certified Coach, member of ICF since 2018, and I'm also member of IAF since 2021. I was Grandmaster between 2014 and 2019. Let's talk about what is Agile, especially capital A Agile. And I want to share with you uh, an Angel Manifesto. There are actually four principles. The first one is individuals and interactions over processes and tools. What it means is that in being Agile, we would like to put an emphasis and focus on individuals or team members in interaction among them over the tool we may use or the process. Secondly, in being agile, we emphasize on working software. Um, software as in IT software and over comprehensive documentation. That's a preference. We would like to have a working solution over documents. The principle is customer collaboration or contract negotiation. It's not that contract is not important in being agile. The collaboration between the delivery teams and customer and stakeholder is more important. Last but not least, responding to change. Uh, I'm sure with COVID-19, uh, we we appreciate adaptability. So in essence, as a manifesto emphasizing on connections among team members and humans, collaboration across teams, organization and stakeholders. Third is responsiveness. It doesn't mean that we do not want one, a good solution. Responsiveness is emphasized. And what is small letter A agile? A lot of people will use the term agility. In English, it means nimbleness, ability to move quickly and easily. Uh, you probably heard Agile has been adopted in business and according to the Business Institute, sorry, Business Agility Institute. Business Agility is the capacity and the willingness of an organization to adapt, to create, to leverage change for their customer benefit. Since the publication of Agile Manifesto more than 20 years ago, Agile has been adopted in different departments and functions beyond delivery like human resource, marketing and governance. I'm sure you will find more and more professionals adopting Agile. So beyond the Agile manifesto which the we have just uh, described the four principles, you may have frameworks at 
team level and beyond team like department and organization for the team level you will have two framework or popular framework the one is the first one is scrum xp means extreme programming i won't go into details uh, you may follow the link in the presentation if you're interested in any one of these framework and beyond team i just list out three framework there are more uh, less safe and scrum skills all of these are popular for us to adopt scrum beyond team level and at the department and enterprise level and a lot of time when people speak about agile it actually means different things to different people um, first i will show you a concept called agile onion at the lowest area lowest level is the tools and processes like scrum xp and practices and above this there will be principles and values like the agile manifesto and the mindset and since the introduction of agile it has been adopted beyond teams which will affect the middle level management and senior management and lately even the ceo and board of director has been promoting and embracing agile so be very mindful when we talk agile at which level we are talking about let's talk a bit about why the need of become or the popularity of agile there are two background uh, context we have the first is uh, the COVID-19 pandemic that the with the COVID-19 the urge and the urgent need for transformation has been much more greater and with the urgent need to uh, handle climate change it also call for us to face this complexity in dealing with climate change in short the need for agile has been increased due to uh, this trade driver that are very popular first is uh, collective sense making when we are facing with complexity we won't able to provide a good solution unless we understand and agree what does it mean for all these changes then we can talk about adaptability how quickly we could respond to the change and a lot of time doing the same old thing faster cheaper or better it may not be sufficient we may need to adopt a totally different or new solution that call for innovation it so far what are the challenges in adopting agile so in the 15th state of agile so you can imagine this state of agile is a survey among the practitioner of agile one of the segment in the state of agile is the challenges faced by the agile practitioners um, the first one is 46 percent inconsistency in process and practice as we share as i share in the previous slide agile could mean different things to different people so it's possible at the team level they adopt agile and not at the 
management level and because of that there could be clash of culture practice and preferences which contribute to the resistance of change at the organization level inconsistency and resistance always contribute to probably lack of support and possibly lack of funding in developed skills and providing supporting environment to develop experience and some leader may build agile something for the teams and may not be applicable for them so let's contribute to absence of leadership participation and and one of the obvious consequence is lack of support from management so these are the common challenge from the 15th state of agile survey so because of property of agile and being agile and agility so what could be the professional coach helped I won't go into the details I would like to mention a few uh, of this area professional coach coach could help for example customer collaboration people will collaborate when they feel safe and being trust and we also need to listen to the challenges actively and help the participant to be aware of where they are what they need to uh, develop or build solution and a lot of time we also can't respond to change if we are not aware of the situation that's where a booking come into focus a lot of time they may be desired to change and skill or experience may not be uh, available that's where the facilitate client group come into place there's uh, some area where professional can, can help in being agile in my opinion there is an area where coaches could help a lot that is leadership development in the book with title agile transformation by michael spain and michelle there's a statement in the book transformation leaders understand that the most important tool they have for transformation is their own self the effort to grow and develop themselves is therefore the central task of a transformation that's what we mean by upgrading the leadership operating system so this book proposed that for transformation or agile transformation to be successful leader will need to upgrade themselves and what does it mean upgrade i will share a model by robert keegan called stages of adult development it has multiple stages all individuals started with self sovereign mind that means individual make decision for their own benefit from their own perspective later when we work in a team or in a company we did a socialized mind we work with others in a team to contribute to the company and society for some of them they may develop self ordering mind it means that they are driven by principles and their value to respond to changes in the environment for a small minority of people with self ordering mind they may develop self transforming mind it means that they are highly aware they know their shortcomings and within belief 
and they are willing to put in the work to transform themselves to be a better version of themselves. If you like to know more about Robert Keegan's stage of, of adult woman, you may watch this video by Jennifer called Adult Development Map. So, what does this adult development with this edge of transformation? One area is we need all everybody to be in a socialist mind so that they could collaborate with each other. And possibly some of them need to be in self ordering mind to respond to change because sometimes the change may be so new they are no uh, existing example. People may be deeply driven by values and principles. And in a more trusted disruption, you may even need leader to be trust self transforming. That means they are willing to kind of transform to be a different individual to respond to change. For example, if you are in the restaurant and hospital business, what's the alternative in this COVID-19 pandemic? If you are leader in the fossil, f fossil fuel company, what are the alternatives in facing climate change? And there's a short description, but could the coaches help in upgrading table, in upgrading leadership, mind? And what are the opportunities that uh, coaches could contribute in the Agile space, uh, one obvious choice is team coaching, helping team to maximize their foundation, and also helping leader to manage complexity. How about the professional facilitator? And I would like to share some example. What well, could a professional as it helps in the customer collaboration. We need to have appropriate group process. In Agile, when we are say that we are respond to change, it doesn't mean that we act uh, haphazardly without planning. We do have planning and we may decide to shift rather than changing, rather than following a plan. We also want to uh, have a participatory environment so that we can have more collaboration, especially uh, across units and department or any even company. And we also need the facility to help in guiding a group for the outcome that we want, for example, customer collaboration and responding to change. And these are just some examples how professional facilitator could help in embracing Agile. And based on my experience, there are a few factors for the professional facility could consider in designing agile related event. The first factor to consider is the audience or the participant of different agile event. They are very different. It could be very different. For example, it could be consists of business stakeholder and development team, or some events are just purely for development team. Some event could last just as short as 15 minutes. Some could be lasting as long as two or three hours. And one of the 
unique situation for agile even is some of them are probably repeated highly frequently for some 15 minutes this could be a daily event to a couple hours could be a bi-weekly or monthly event so take note of that and one area professional coach facilitator could help is process design in most of the framework that i mentioned earlier they only describe the flow process and structure but not the detailed design so i would think that professional facilitator could help a lot especially considering the three factors that i mentioned earlier in the process design and since we all want the practitioner and agile practitioner to collaborate to respond to change there's harsh, much more high demand to have access to facilitation skills among the members so that's a huge area for professional facilitator to help in embracing agile and what is next i believe the embracing of agile and agility call for more collaboration this being agile and ambitious agile is not just the job for a coach or facilitators or agile petition alone um, as i share three parties are required to help the company and clients to be more agile especially when it's moving from team level to the board level that means at the company culture level all right thank you for your time and patience and if you're interested to collaborate more here is my email coach at password.sg thank you